Hey, this is Terry, and welcome back to another episode of Flavors in the Heart. Uh, today we're going to do a uh, rotisserie chicken. Um, you know, when you stroll through the store and you smell that uh, chicken that's uh, going, it, it's like, oh, I want to grab it. and um, I want you to uh, know that it's just as easy to make it at home. Um, I have my, uh, I think it's called a set it and forget it uh, rotisserie that I've had for probably about 15 years. Um, I always tell people if you want to buy these kind of this kind of equipment, go on uh, Craigslist and buy a used one because guaranteed somebody's got it in their closet and they're not using it and they want to sell it for a half or even a third of the cost. So, um, so today uh, I uh, went to the store and uh, they had whole fryers on sale for 88 cents. My recommendation when you do this is to get uh, a chicken that is at least five pounds, if not six. Okay. All right, so uh, we're going to start off with uh, our ingredients here, and uh, and then we've got our chicken over here. All right, so uh, in my trusty uh, little bowl here, I've got uh, one tablespoon of chili powder, uh, a teaspoon of garlic, uh, an onion powder, uh, and then salt, and then I've also got a tablespoon of paprika and thyme in there. Um, and then I'm going to add uh, two uh, tablespoons of olive oil. And basically what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to make a paste. And um, I find that that is much easier uh, to work with when you're doing this. The other thing is, is that uh, when I do my chicken, and as you, if you've seen some of my recipes, I always salt the chicken before, 15 to 20 minutes before. It's going to lock in those juices. And then when you cut that open, it's just going to be so juicy and you're going to be very, very happy. Um, I need a little bit more. I've also uh, tied off, uh, did a trust my chicken, so it's all tied up on there, and um, you, uh, so the, the cooking time on this is 15 minutes per pound. So this is a six pound uh, chicken, so it's going to take about an hour and a half, and then um, if you don't have a rotisserie, you can do this same recipe and just stick it in the oven uh, at uh, 350 and an hour and a half, okay? Um, and you're going to get similar results. Um, but what I like about the rotisserie is that it gets an even coat and uh, and then all the, if there's any grease or fat, it all goes down into here and, uh, and that's it. So this is what I've done is I've just made this paste. Now I'm going to go over here and I'm going to go ahead and, and get my chicken all lathered up with all these wonderful juices. Okay. And I like to do this with my hands. I've tried doing it with gloves, and it just doesn't work uh, as well as, as I would like it to. So, And you just want to get it into all the nooks and crannies, spread it around. You want to get all under those wings. Um, when I'm doing a rotisserie, I like to fold the wings under, so you just take them to the back and fold them in, and, uh, and then they're not going to be hanging out while it's it's rotisserieing so um, I'm going to do my fingers now and get into these little crevices. Make sure that uh, you take out the, the, the liver and the gizzards and, and stuff like that. And then just rot rotate it around and see that uh, you've got all the areas that you want. All right, try to rinse my hand off here. All right, here we go. Nice and, see the paste actually works better because then it stays on. And then we're just gonna set it in here and uh, make sure that the chicken is right in the middle. That looks good. And I'm gonna close it up. Gonna set it for, an hour and a half and the other way that you can check that is uh, get your thermometer out and uh, you know put it in the medius part of the uh, the chicken and the temperature should be anywhere from like 155 to 160 because it's going to cook a little bit more after you take it out the uh, achievement that you want to get is 165 so come on back in an hour and a half and uh, let's check out our chicken all right welcome back uh, we are at an hour and 30 minutes um, actually, we're not at an hour and 30 minutes. It actually only took um, an hour and 20 minutes, 
and uh, I checked uh, the temperature and it's at uh, 165 so um, our bird is looking good so uh, let's get our safety gloves on here take it out and then uh, let's take a bite of this uh, juicy chicken And you know, having that truss on the uh, the chicken um, gives it uh, a much better appearance, and uh, the wings aren't uh, flying all over the place, and uh, or the legs. So let's see here. Let's just take a bite out of the back here. Look at the, uh, the juices that are coming out of that. It's all about salting it 20 minutes before, and then you'll come out with a nice juicy chicken. Mmm. I love the mixture between the paprika and the chili powder. It just, it gives a little punch to it, but it also gives that nice home, homey flavor. So, um, what was I gonna say? Uh, yeah, cook this up. And uh, I don't think you'll ever uh, go to the store and do the rotisserie chicken. Um, it's so easy. I mean, it's just literally it takes five minutes to get it ready and then put it in there and then, you know, you're off doing other things. Tonight I'm going to pair this with uh, some jasmine rice. Um, and then I made a uh, nice uh, corn and tomato uh, with feta cheese salad. And uh, that's it. So uh, until next time, let's get cooking.